Hi, this is Morgana Ray here of AbundanceAndProsperity.com and it has been forever since I recorded a video. Now I'm going to answer one of your reader questions. This one came in a few times from different people from emails and it also showed up on a recent private coaching call that I did with a, a small group of people which is uh, along these lines of I can't see or how do I see my money monster or money monsters. First of all, uh, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you focus on putting it all into one monster. I have coached a client whose monster showed up uh, as a, a whole band of people, but that's really hard. And um, especially since you're doing this on your own, uh, really just create one really big monster. Now the way to, the best way that um, I have found to get to that place where you can actually see your monster, first you need to get into the proper emotional state. That's why the first step is really digging into the root causes, the source of the pain, and not just about money. We start with money, but the roots of the problem, the root of your money monster is never really about money. It's the other stuff. It's the stuff about love and safety and hurt and shame and failure and hopelessness. And when I'm coaching somebody, we start with the money, but the sooner we can go into that side direction, is the sooner that we will find the real monster. So when you get enough, enough evidence to have that real strong emotional state, then, then through this giant leap of creativity, then, then you create your monster. And I might ask a question like, well, if your money monster was responsible for all of this, what would your monster look like? And if you don't see the monster, start with the other senses, start with the feeling, start with the smell is really, really powerful, maybe some noises, but really start with the feelings. And then, and then as that gets stronger and stronger, then see who your monster is. It should not be a rock, it should not be a cloud, it should not be a fiery pit, it should be personal, human or monstrous, not cartoonish, and it should fill you with such terror and repulsion that you are willing to get rid of it, even though it's your money. And that is the foundation for everything else. You don't get, you don't get to have the money, honey, until you get rid of the money monster. And that is my lesson for today. Talk to you soon. Namaste.